Namaste angels. I'm going to do a client reading for a woman I've spoken to a few times on uh, Facebook. We are Facebook friends, but I otherwise don't know. And she's wondering about the gentleman um, with whom she believes she is partnered um, in a sacred and divine manner. She wants to look into that. So I'm going to do that beginning with my Tony Carmine Salerno Universal Love Oracle and the Energy of Meditation and opening to divine guidance. Um, so right away, getting something here from the moon. Um, there is... But well, we're still in this energy of the new moon right now, actually. Um, but the next, the next um, moon that we're going to experience and feel is the full moon in Capricorn uh, that's coming up on the ninth. That we may begin to feel, um, you know, as soon as you know, like next weekend, next Friday, maybe or this coming Friday, uh, rather, with the new week that begins tomorrow, Sunday. So this may have something to do with that. But this guidance, you know, getting back to the guidance, that's infinite. And that's always available. Uh, and you can certainly receive it through meditation. Meditation. Oh, <laughs> opening to moon tree. Speaking of the moon um, and sacred relationships, that's what this card represents. Um, it is about the marriage between heaven and earth, which the scriptures speak of this marriage of heaven and earth. God says, I'm going, I will merge heaven and earth. That's part of the, you know, um, the new earth. That's what the new Jerusalem is all about, the way it's described in the scriptures. Well, what this card also means is the marriage between two sacred beings, um, that existence. And opposite meditation, it could just be the need to like get in touch with that energy, especially with them sharing so many of the same colors, get in touch with that from within. Um, like where there's belief, but doubt, um, you know, which is why we're here doing this reading. The need to um, move into a place of more knowing that it exists, even when we can't feel it, we can't see it, we can't smell it, we can't touch it, we can't whatever, taste it. It still exists. Like the union doesn't disappear. Um, and you can reach that sort of balance that's necessary for that um, through the meditation. Moon tree and tantric union, all about the 5D, our connection on, you know, in higher vibrations. I'll go one more. And it's answered prayer. Okay. Spiritual growth. We went from one angel, um, with like heart shaped wings and that answered prayer to spiritual growth and, and more this moon, um, behind, um, uh, what looks like an angelic being too. Speaking of moon and goddesses and <laughs> sacred beings and angels and all that kind of stuff, here's yet another one. Um, another female or feminine energy, um, bare down to her essence in front of the universe and particularly the moon. Um, the moon represents feminine energy of surrender. So the two of you perhaps being guided to just let go, um, you know, let go and allow the universe, go with the flow allow the universe to, you know, sort of direct you and guide you toward where you need to be. Um, there's a, like a phrase, a saying for that, let go and let God, it's that type of thing.
The feminine with regard to herself, the gateway, standing at the door, afraid to go through, knowing, however, that, you know, it's necessary, like it's required, like your soul can't rest if you don't. Um, that's where you are right now. The masculine, um, as it relates to you with regard to the union, celebration. It was very Pentecostal dove. Um, so this for me represents more of um, the sacredness because the, the, this, this dove or these um, doves, the Pentecostal dove, is a representation of the Holy Spirit. So um, this very divine um, and like quote unquote karmic, not karmic in a negative sense as, you know, the negative connotations that sometimes uh, we attribute it to it, but karmic in the sense that it's of the universe and completely beyond our control. Um, and, you know, like just, a, it's a creation similar to like, this is the day the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad. This is a situation the Lord has made, the universe has made. It's, it's cause for celebration. I couldn't have done this. I couldn't have found the, a person um, so perfect for me on my own. I couldn't have grown to a place where I was open to even being in a, you know, relationship or approaching a healthy relationship or anything on my own. You know, it's giving recognition and, and celebration um, for special people being brought into our lives. And the masculine with relation to himself transmutation. This is very much like the rise of the Phoenix. Um, and when there's so much light, you know, that, you know, where there's light, there was dark and where there's darkness, you know, that the, you know, it will come to light, will be illuminated. So my mind always goes to that the darkness is beneath, uh, especially when we're, we're seen rising this way. Um, so he left the darkness behind. And right now he's in this very, you know, illuminated place and it can only continue to get brighter and better um, for him as he continues to rise. The masculine with relation to the union, birth. So it's a brand new, something brand new. And more of this very Pentecostal dove too. So more of this and this, this, these rays of like reflecting of like the Trinity, right? But recognition of, again, the fact that this is not something of this world, uh, this situation not this woman or as at least as it relates to him and not the union um, with, you know, that he shares with her, not of this world at all. And so giving um, glory to the universe for that. Overall, heaven on earth is something that one or both um, maybe need to leave behind in order to give way to the new. This card is all about the need to let go of something to allow for new. It's sort of like death in the tarot. So it allows for rebirth. That rebirth can happen though without the death. It's like the space has to be vacated for new energy. Uh, outcome, physical body. And it's more this very similar um, color and very similar energy. This naked female so this feminine energy of surrender, complete, full vulnerability, like 100% exposed and open to whatever the universe is going to do with me. Um, it reminds me of um, like Luke 136, when Mary says, you know, like your will, let, let, let it be done to me as you say, you know, she says to the angel, this is what this is, like let whatever is meant for me, happen. I'll go with the flow. I, I promise to go into full surrender and allow for it to happen. What would the masculine have the feminine to do or surrender um, toward continuing to bring the union together? And it's to let go of expectations, right? She's got her mind set on things going a particular way and maybe a particular schedule. So, you know, we should have done this by now. And we haven't, I can't check off the box or whatever. The human mind, um, even those of us that are awakened and elevated and we, you know, we're higher um, vibration than some, perhaps some others, is still no, you know, um, contestant against the universe. There is no contest. Our thoughts, our visions, 
our ideas, our goals are not nearly as broad as what the universe can provide to us. So when we are, you know, sort of tried to be a stickler and have all these expectations of exactly how we want stuff, we paint ourselves into a very tiny box and we limit the universe in that sense, in accordance with the laws of attraction. We, you know, in the laws of the universe, universal laws, we, block, we box ourselves in, we box in the universe that it can't do what it otherwise would have done for us. We did not vacate a space large enough for what it would have given us because we had these expectations. So the idea is that we need to let go of these. It's, a, it's more let go and let God, basically. Um, what would the masculine... Or what is the masculine willing to do and or surrender toward um, the union himself? Answered prayer. So he may not have been a praying man at all before. May, you know, probably not religious. Um, and maybe even prior to this experience, not spiritual. But he's certainly gotten to a place where, again, he's giving recognition um, and respect and, and glory and honor to where it belongs. And that's the universe. So he's in a different place now. Um, where he's beginning to understand how things work. And maybe because that part of him that was closed off from it before, that died, right? This, the butterfly is the ultimate symbol of transformation, of death and rebirth, right? Going in a caterpillar and emerging a butterfly. So maybe he left behind that caterpillar whose you know, consciousness wasn't broad enough to conceive some of these concepts. But as this you know, beautiful butterfly, he's ready. And he knows what he needs to do. He knows he can speak things over his life and speak to the universe with regard to his life and bring about um, positive change in that sense. And what would the universe have the two of you to do or surrender toward the union? It is golden memory. So you both have baggage that you need to drop. And that may be what the heaven on earth represents. That may be what's old, what's taking up the space. You take your golden memories with you, take your you know lessons learned with you moving forward, but leave the regret and the resentment and the um, waiting for an apology that's never coming and all that kind of stuff. Leave all of that in the, drop it. Just drop it where you stand and walk away from it, basically. That's what the universe is asking of the two of you toward this union. But a beautiful union it will be when you do that. I mean, all of this very, very bright and vibrant um, color is very, very, uh, it's indicative of something that's truly healthy um, and happy. Like bright colors, yellows and oranges, the energy of Uriel and Ariel, they just make you feel good. You know what I mean? They just make you feel good. I'm going to move on from there to another spread. So we didn't see in that spread, um, you know, like quote unquote twin flame of divine union. So I hope that you were happy with and satisfied with the, um, the moon tree and we'll see what we get from the angel tarot. Now I saw a lot of fives for you. And as I say that a four is sticking up, um, but I'm starting with the five, the five of water. And I saw like every five, it's indicative of a lot of challenging energy surrounding you guys um, of different types. The five of water is about things not turning out the way you hoped. They go you, you and those expectations again. Um, not seeing the positive of a situation, right? So not looking for, you know, the, the good about something. There's always like a, a bright side. And maybe even crying over spilled milk. Stuff from the past, that, for, that apology you're waiting for for the past 10 years that's not coming and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's what this speaks to and not counting our blessings, not, not appreciating, not thanking the universe for what we've got. Um, there was a four sticking up. This is not it. This is another four. So all of this maybe has a basis in your foundations in life. Um, four of air time to rest or take a vacation, allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. five of water open to the page of water who's intuitive sensitive artistic and friendly may also be somebody younger than you um, or maybe you're the page of water and you're you know younger or somebody youthful perhaps specifically a Pisces which is the more youthful of the water signs 
um, can be any sign though, can be any sign of the zodiac period taking on the attributes of a water sign or it can be specifically a water sign and um, other than Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase and there's a heightened psychic um, abilities, a heightened for both of you. Five of water and, whoo, sorry about that. It's the eight of earth, but these cards are so slippery. <laughs> Or maybe I was just meant to see a whole bunch else like this night of air sitting here staring me in the face. The aid of earth is about skilled work um, being rewarded. Like you put effort in, you get, you know, paid for it, ba paid back from some way. Um, learning all there is to know about a topic and maybe even going back to school. Aid of earth can apply to relationships too. We put effort into relationships and that's how we get, you know, results out of them. It's all about being paid for your hard work. It can be a card of apprenticeship too, of learning um, under something else, like stewardship, learning under somebody else, a new vocation, a new skill. Um, but I connect it to life too, you know, especially when I do these types of readings. It, it's learning in, you know, it can be the school of hard knocks. It can be just by life experience, experience being, you know, one of the best teachers, if not the best teacher. Some people say it's the best teacher. Uh, speaking of teachers, I've come now to the page of earth who is scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful. Also another youthful person. Pages are youthful or younger typically. Uh, this one being, however, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, it's somebody taking on those attributes. Scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful is the page of earth. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging and maybe even a new area of study. On the heels of the aid of earth, this can again be about somebody taking on a new voc vocation or skill or something. Masculine is the world, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path toward enlightenment, the world for me, I mean, some people look at the world and they say, oh, it's about yeah, the world being your oyster, the world is at your feet and all that kind of stuff. And I, I think that's really awesome, you know, thinking that's really positive and everything, but that's not what the world um, tends to speak to me. What the world tends to speak to me is uh, the end, <laughs> similar to death and, um, the page of water that suggests the end of a phase, right? Or a situation. That's what the world says. It's a long trying can be have, maybe have been difficult, but that's what the fives are about. Difficult situation, possibly involving a third energy or some sort of party of three, maybe even a love triangle can be all kinds of different things. Um, and you're finally just moving past whatever this was and into a new phase in your life. Um, you know, much more peaceful and happy and abundant and just a, just a better space uh, with the help of the universe, with the help of maybe Archangel Michael. Masculine is surrounded by the queen of fire who's confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. The queen of fire is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody very passionate, very warm, um, very creative, very I mean, like about their business and handling their things. Uh, maybe something brand new that we're jumping into again, having been eased out of something else, out of something being eased into something else. Maybe it's something about which we're passionate or someone about which we're passionate and we're ready. And the mind, the masculine's mind is this energy of the dreamer or the fool, which for me represents the planet Mercury and the signs of Gemini and Virgo, um, but it doesn't have to be. And the fool is about a brand new path, um, you know, just embarking on something completely new and fresh and taking a chance even, you know, 
taking a chance on betting on yourself. A leap of faith. Follow your dreams. That leads to unexpected opportunities. The so sitting here under the queen of fire can certainly be about his dreams, about something about which he's passionate or again, someone about which he's passionate or both, both just completely starting over ending, walking away from whatever this was, whoever this was, combination of things, leaving the past behind, taking the golden memories only, leaving the baggage and moving on. That's what this, what the masculine's whole column here says. Um, feminine, the seven of fire, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. Surrounded by the four of water, missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So you might have your sight set specifically again on certain things or certain things happening a certain way at a certain time and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you're limiting yourself and you're missing like the big picture is what this is saying. And you also have like an 11 here too, by the way. Um, in the feminine subconscious, the ace of water, beautiful. Falling in love with a resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, maybe even a new home. The ace of water is about fresh starts, new beginnings, giving birth to something brand new. Um, so you're ready too. with the ace of water opposite the dreamer. You know, it's two people wanting to dive in, as they say, which is beautiful um, to be on the same page in that sense. Ace of Water represents the signs of Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces, too, by the way, sim similar to the page that came through here before. And crowning is the King of Air. A lot of, like, people, players involved here. The King of Air, brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic is the King of Air. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice and balance mental and emotional considerations. King of Air, I think, is, also, is really here, however, to cut away at something that's, you know, no longer, um, you know, to the higher good. He's here to rid us of something, maybe to help to ease the masculine out of this situation, or maybe to help you stand your ground and speak up for yourself, um, with regard to whatever this seven of fire represents. At the roots. The Knight of Water, who's emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative, and the most romantic knight of all in the tarot, in my opinion. Falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, and an invitation to a social event is also possible. The Knight of Water, like the Ace, is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and at the heart of the matter, the Magician with Archangel Raziel, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. The magician for me um, is a Gemini and crossing the dreamer, and, which in this deck for me is also a Gemini. That one of, and sitting under the king of air, a Gemini may very well be involved or an air sign um, may very well be involved. They're here at the heart of the matter, which is very interesting. And I think here, sitting here in between what could potentially represent all of the elements, because the dreamer, again, for me, or this card in particular, uh, the, in this deck, representing Mercury, and which rules Virgo and Gemini. So there's your earth. There's some air. Here's more air. Here's your fire. You know, here's your water. The magician encompasses all of that to remind you that, you know, you have control. You have... Um, you know, at least to an extent, we have right our free will to an extent. And you have all the tools that you need. You have all the wit, all the intelligence, all the grace, all the, you know, talent, all the patience and fortitude, even though if you don't feel it all the time, all, you're like, you have everything you could possibly need to get through whatever these situations are. I'm going to see if I can clarify what the seven of fire might be. Something having to do with a child so or children. So this can be your relationship with your children's um father that maybe that you've ended it and you've got to stand your ground there you've if you've cut off or cut him off to an extent um cut off any of the romantic ties and all that kind of stuff you you know you're guided here by the seven of fire to stand your ground in that regard to 
together, the six and the four, now you've got like this full family. This, this column definitely represents um, family and or children. I don't want to say issues, but I, I, I can't think of a better word. Um, concerns, um, related situations, family related situations. The father may may be a fire sign. I mean, the seven is not a court card, so it doesn't have to represent a person. But I'm just feeling the father may actually be a fire sign. And you're just guided to stand your ground, you know, and not miss your opportunities because you're, you know, remaining tied to him. Use this king of airs sword. That's why he showed up. Use his sword to cut the cords there um, and, and rid yourself of this situation. All right, I'm going to move on to the romance cards and see what else we get, beginning with calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And opening to getting to know each other. As you release and um, your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Calling in your soulmate. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this soulmate that you're calling in may not be what you're used to. Um, Trey Songz had a song like that, like it's not, he's not what you're used to. He's going to give you something unusual. That's what this is, <laughs> um, right? Completely different, and it's okay. Opening to engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Engagement and... Opening to separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Separation now at the bottom. Interesting. I'm going to cut. Maybe to give you guys a few moments to love yourselves first and maybe to give the masculine an opportunity to um, finish moving out of this energy of the world. And maybe to give you an opportunity to handle your business here and cutting cords, um, which you may do quickly. I mean, when people see separation, sometimes they get like, oh, no, but, you know, that could be minutes. <laughs> it could be, depends upon, you know, your circumstance and what you're manifesting and what, you know, where you are in your situation, what your con contract um, says, you know, the, the covenant that you entered with the universe, all the, so many different factors. Um, but this is like one of the most important things in all of this that we have to do. Like as soon as we stop doing this, separation tends to happen. I was just talking to somebody one of, um, the other day about this, how I said, you know, the universe will remind you if you begin to slip back into old patterns and habits and the slump, a rut, um, it will remind you and like remove people out of your life, including your divine partner, you know, for a time so that you can get back to where you belong. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Overall energy is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Top the world is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So maybe this is the new energy into which he's being moved, right? Out with the old, in with the new and the true. Atop the queen of fire, it's safe for you to love as well. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So don't fall into a trap, a pattern, um, a mindset because of that old love that you're, you know, of what you're letting go. Um, even though it was difficult for you to move out of it and the universe had to step in and help you out. Don't get stuck there. Allow yourself to be moved all the way toward this new, uh, new and true love. And here, 
atop the dreamer and the fool where he's ready to take the leap of faith. Also in his subconscious, the need to release his ex. So there's a, again, the king of air sits here next to this to finish cutting that cord, to vacate that space, to allow for the true love so that he can take the leap toward it. There's work to be done first. Here atop your six of water and the seven of fire, these beliefs and decisions and things, the stand you've taken that you have to defend chemistry There's a strong magnetic attraction. So that's your reason, um, you know, for remaining firm, the, the, the magnetism that pulls the two of you together. And of course it makes sense. True love here atop the four of water. Yeah. This is like your child's again, other parent. It's a past life relationship that is causing you to miss, not in a permanent sense, but you know, in moments, moments, it's causing moments to be fleeting, right? It's causing you to miss opportunities in the short term. Atop the ace of water, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this, I would say, connected to family uh, and or children as well, because um, the Ace of Water says that to me. And I think that that's, you know, from where, I, I don't know why I keep feeling like waiting for an apology. Maybe it's from their father. Um, the, and, and I keep saying it's not coming. <laughs> you know, let's learn from the fact that it hasn't come yet, but forgive anyway, beginning with ourselves, like for, whatever it is that you, you know, like forgive yourself even for, um, feeling as if you couldn't move on before you didn't have the right to, and all these kind of things, forgive, drop it, let it go. Let's learn from the experience. Let's take the lessons. Let's take the golden memories. If there are any remaining and move forward, crowning atop this King of air finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Ah, atop the night of water, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. What a beautiful place for the soulmate card to show up um, atop this one, which I said was the most romantic night in the deck for me. H here is the soulmate. So beautiful. And at the heart of the matter, atop the magician, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So again, even when you can't feel, see, taste, touch it, it's still there. Um, and we got to believe that it's still there and it's still, you know, strong, but sometimes we have to pull apart because there is business to be handled and things to work out. I want to see what the ascended masters, um, would add to this. And I'm beginning with peace offering white Buffalo calf woman. When I pull this card, I always have to say, I, I really, it, it's, it's my least favorite time. And it's never a, my favorite time. It's never a good time for me for this card to show up. Um, but my least favorite time for it to show up is when I'm doing a personal reading, a client reading. Um, but thankfully the bright side is, uh, it tends to not even have anything to do with the client. It's on a larger scale, um, surrounding the collective there, you know, people die. Um, you know, like extended family, um, friends and things that we consider family, they pass away. Celebrities pass away when I pull this card. Um, it's, it's, it's without fail, to be honest. Um, I have to mention that, but for what it means for a couple, um, is similar to the need to both be able to both give and receive. It's the need to be open to extending the olive branch and to, and to accepting it if it's reached out to you. And opening to come out of the closet with Amaterasu. Um, maybe the two of you or one of you, you know, not having been completely open yet with yourselves or with people around you about your new relationship, maybe because it doesn't feel necessarily like a real relationship. It's, and, it, and it may not um, for a while. Maybe that's what's kept you from talking about it. Like nobody understands this sort of connection. But the universe still likes us to trust uh, and have the faith and strength to be able to like defend ourselves, even in that regard, um, getting back to the seven of fire.
trust. I think it's very interesting that you've got like this trust twice over or the need to do it. There may be trust issues um, prevalent here with one or both. If there are, let it go with everything else that's negative. Let it all go. Thank you, God, for your love and guidance here. Amen. The top, the true love and the world is artistic expression in Paul the Venetian. Um, so maybe coming out of coming up with creative ways to sort of, as they say, move freely about the cabin to to get move away from this old energy of the world and towards something new. A top, it is safe for you to love and the queen of fire. Clear and shield your energy, says El Moria. Atop, release your ex. And the dreamer, father, husband, brother, son, Osiris. This could represent the masculine himself um, and who he is to perhaps this person that he needs to cut ties with. Maybe this is his actual ex. Um, you know, maybe he is a father. Maybe they have a child too. And, you know, he's having to deal with that. That, that That's, you know, that something has ended. Even this, we can move past your overall energy. Um, as your overall energy suggests, even that's this sort of thing we can let go. Atop the chemistry and sticking to your guns and your ground. Archangel Michael says you can do it. A top past life relationship in the four of water. Ocean says drink more water. Um, maybe some ascension going on there too that she wants to make you aware of. And here atop the ace of water and forgiving and learning. Ganesh says yes. He's going to make it possible for you to be able to forgive and, and move past whatever you need to. He's going to um, you know, knock out obstacles out of your way. Here are top finances and career and the king of air. See the other person's point of view, um, which is very king of airy, right? The king of air is a, is a diplomat. He's very, you know, he, he believes in diplomacy and fairness. And so he's going to look at both sides of the situation. That's what you're guided to do. And then, you know, move toward and or away as, you know, accordingly. Here are top the night of water and soulmate is retreating to nature and the green man. Anytime the green man shows up, he's talking about abundance and it's abundance in an earthly sense, in a financial and monetary sense, but also love uh, here. So it makes sense for this to be sitting here atop the night of water and the soulmate. And it's beautiful for it to be there. And here at the heart of the matter, Mother Mary comes through to tell you both to do you. Basically, when she comes through like this and says, nurture yourself, she's saying love for you, live for you, drop this other stuff. Trust that all will be well. Like you don't have to worry about what happens to your children's father. He doesn't have to worry about what happens to his ex. What you guys have to, you know, even if there are children involved, there are ways to, I mean, people do have been doing this long before us and they'll continue after, you know, to uh, in relationships and move on and start new ones. We can do it too, as Archangel Michael is saying here to you. From the Universal Love Oracle, Emergence is back. I shuffled these up a little bit um, <laughs> to see what, if anything might want to show up again. Um, and this is back for the masculine. So he continues to on this rise. 
and the new um, overall energy actually became enchantment, which is um, some, for me, it's about allowing the universe to heal us with its energy and its loving rays here. From that um, oracle for you, creativity. This is very divine feminine because again, divine feminine is about creativity. It's about passion and about getting back to those things that maybe you left aside. Maybe that's part of nurturing yourself. Things that you used to enjoy doing that you haven't done, um, that you cease to do because you were putting other people before you are uh, all the things that you need to get back to. From the Ascended Masters to the Masculine, Spiritual Law of Attraction. He's going to be giving, um, getting what he's putting out. So he needs to uh, keep his thoughts and energies positive and, and fair. From the Ascended Mas Masters, this is um, positive change from coming to the feminine. When we acknowledge the fact that we have the power we can do it stand your ground and keep fighting keep pushing remember that um, Ganesha has your back and new beginnings await you all you have to do is let go of some of the stuff onto what you've been holding that has been um, an obstacle for you remember that there's teamwork so it's you and Ganesha pushing these things out of your way and that gives way to positive change for you from the um Angels to the masculine, it's the seven of earth. Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So he may be saying like, where are the fruits of my labor? How come I can't, you know, again, see them, smell them, touch them, taste them, whatever. You know, I need this money right now, or I need this thing right now, or I expected us to be further along in the relationship or whatever the case is. He's, you know, he's done, he's taken the necessary steps to get there. And now it's just a matter of divine timing. So he's guided to be patient. You from the angels. Ah, beautiful. The nine of water. Yes. Another yes. Similar to um, this yes from Ganesh. This is a yes. What else did you want? The answer to that is yes to um, prayers answered wishes granted. This is wish fulfillment. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away and you have a love of life. From the romance angels to the masculine, lastly, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So even if this is not the traditional relationship that he's into and you're not his traditional type of woman, um, you know, nothing is what we're used to. Again, this is the unusual, uh, as Trey songs would say, and you know, thank goodness, right? It, it's, it's, there's nothing else like it you know, and how very special and blessed we are, um, to be, to have, to have been chosen to be a part of all of it from the romance angels to you. Oh, wedding. This situation involves marriage. Now that may or may not be this type of marriage, but we know for sure, cause I've already pulled the card. It involves sacred marriage for some of us. That's enough. It'll be up to you to decide whether that's enough for you. Um, but this is what you have lying ahead. I hope that you find this um, reading helpful and that you enjoy it. Namaste, Angel.